Hello everybody, it's the April 2022 garden update and we do have some flowers blooming in this flower bed right now. A bunch of the bearded iris are starting to bloom. We've got some gold ones, there's a yellow one, a white one, and a purple one getting ready to go. I've got my herb bed planted out and it's populated pretty well now. And here it is a few days later, and here's these bearded iris, pretty much in full bloom now. Come up here and look at these. These haven't bloomed yet. These don't bloom near as heavily as they used to, so I don't know if it's time to dig up and divide or what's going on. But I've got a few different ones. This one's kind of unique. And here's also another unique looking one here. Two-tone. Pretty cool. Got a bunch of seed coming up there. And then those down there are blooming pretty heavily, but they're kind of down a little bit today. So I just wanted to show this one section of flower beds because this doesn't bloom very often, just once per year. I've got some hollyhocks to plant and I'm going to be planting these two in two of these buckets here and then I'm going to get two mosquito plants so I'm about to go do that now and then there's one more random tomato plant here are those hollyhocks and mosquito plants I got every other one I decided to get a third one for over here. Those are citronella. Even this amaryllis is opening up today. So that's pretty cool to see. And got some marigolds and zinnias. Just the normal stuff I usually plant here. What can you say about the jasmine ground cover? It's just doing its thing. It's trying. The right next to the wall is the new growth where it's the warmest. So we'll see what it does this year. Never can tell. We'll move over to this middle flower bed in the backyard. Things are beginning to grow in it. It looked pretty good. This Amaryllis here has not bloomed in a long time, so that's good to see that one blooming. Then I've got one of those golden iris right there. Let's take one more look at this bed. It's looking pretty good today. It's got a lot of color showing now. take a look at the potato patch looking pretty good to me I can't see it on the viewfinder it's too bright out here but yep those will be ready in about a month it's forgot to mention that today's date is April 17th 2022 here's my 
my lettuce, some of my lettuce. Got some beans here, various types of beans. And marigolds growing along with them. And I even have a potato blooming today. Look at that. Right there. If you've never seen a potato flower before. And right on cue, the wind is picking up as soon as I grab the camera. But we'll do the best we can with what we got to work with here today. Look at my celery. It's actually making celery stalks. I just bundled them up where they'd go straight up. There's a head of iceberg lettuce right there. My tomatoes are blooming. We've been munching on this lettuce. It's been real good. Look at all these potato blossoms this year. I have not had potatoes bloom out like that for a long time. I've got a defective tomato plant here. So that's what that little one by the house was. I'm going to put it right here. And if this one makes, fine. If not, that one will take its place. Here's what my onions are looking like. Pretty good stuff. Just been eating tons of asparagus. I'm starting to let some of it go to fern because it's about time to stop harvesting and then my radishes we've got some beast of radishes there looking great here's what my mustard and spinach patch is looking like very very good stuff this year despite kind of being in the droughts situation it's doing pretty well right now can just squeeze in here a little bit more not going to be much longer but look at this broccoli that's ready to go right there and then that one's even bigger can't beat that I can make my mom's broccoli salad that's pretty darn good. And here's what the broccoli patch looks like from here. And there's another, another one ready. And then the cabbage is starting to make heads. And my carrots are just doing their thing they should be ready in about a month as well I've introduced a new beneficial insect these trichogramma wasps on these little sheets of paper they're supposed to eat they're supposed to lay eggs in the eggs of a moth where they don't develop so I'm not seeing very many cabbage loopers this year so maybe they're doing their thing so that would be wonderful and here's my pinto beans what they're looking like now I'm going to have to put some more seed in this row as the soil stayed too cool from the shade it's finally getting sunlight all day so that will need to be replanted there's some that asparagus has been delicious absolutely delicious and then here's this little flower bed here here's this little flower bed next to my workshop it's doing its thing and looking pretty good this flower bed next to the house we've even got some activity going here these 
these uh, Siberian iris are blooming finally. They're about on schedule. Got a blanket flower blooming. Got some weeds to pull. That's typical for this flower bed. It's all spider wart for the main part. That stuff's difficult to eliminate. And these just put on a wonderful show this year. These St. Joseph's lilies. They're a little bit past peak, but man, they look great this year. And it is fan season. Here's my daylilies, and I've got some zinnias, periwinkles, marigolds. I don't know what all. The, the tropical plants have sprouted. I'm going to have to dig these up and move them back over here. I've got a cluster of pentas here, as well as some more St. Joseph lilies that are past their peak, but still looking okay. My dianthus are doing awesome. The wildlife. The wildlife, ladies and gentlemen. Another cluster of St. Joseph's lilies. figured I'd get a picture of them before they fizzle out. More dianthus. Here's my zinnias and wild violets and all that good stuff. They're doing pretty well. This row ahead, this hedgerow is coming back on pretty strong after I've been nursing it back to health. It's looking pretty darn good again. And here is the middle flower bed in the front yard i've got my rare white amaryllis blooming today so that's awesome to see just all kinds of flowers in here more saint joseph lilies these have bloomed better this year than they have in the years all kinds of stuff blooming here's some more amaryllis i started all these from seed about 12 years ago and it takes them about five years from the seedling to get a full grown bulb. Oh, the wildlife. Oh, look at there. The wildlife. It's even looking at the camera. These, these are leftovers from last year. They started growing and blooming again. So that's the score. white amaryllis that's pretty cool I like that I thought I had another one in this cluster but it's not blooming just yet I've got one random one that blooms about June or July so we'll be seeing that one at some point in time and here's the yellow flower bed got a few yellow flowers chooching right along the lawn's been a little bit slow to wake up this year but it's getting with it now and here's a shot of what the grass is looking like right now it's coming along front yards looking halfway decent now so this has been the April 2022 garden update thank you for watching